and welcome back to my channel News for Kids. Hope you liked our last video in which the fun zone was magic tricks. If you liked them and tried some of them out, please share them with your friends so they can have fun too. Today's news is, what is happening to planet, planet Earth today? We are talking about the major climate changes. How bad is it? Take for example, the Arctic region temperature rises to 21.2 degrees highest in the last 40 years and why should we worry about it? Arctic region is known as the refrigerator of the earth and it keeps our planet cool but today this Arctic region is getting hotter and hotter due to climate change and mind you this climate change is caused by man how, you ask? More and more smoke is released into the air due to factories, air travel, cars on roads and more, which causes pollution. And as the Arctic region heats up, so does our planet, which results in ice melting, which has increased in recent times, causing the sea level to rise, which is a threat of population residing near the seaside. So before we see our favourite beaches disappear, let's all be alert and care for our environment from today onwards. Now, let me tell you how you can improve your concentration. Are you easily distracted? Do you find it difficult to focus on the task at hand because your mind keeps wandering? Do you worry too much or have too many things to do that you can't sit down and concentrate on one thing? We all struggle to maintain focus in our daily lives. Endless distractions keep our brains from concentrating as we struggle to get things done at work and complete projects around the house. But remember, with pure focus, we can be unstoppable. Let me give you some tips. Tip number one, have a little snack. Hey guys, if you get home from school and all you want to do is chill, but you still have some homework to power through, I've got the perfect snacks for you. Popcorn curls in your paper bag. You're going to pour the kernels into the bag. It makes a nice sound, like this. You're going to fold it like this. Lay your bag down flat and turn your microwave on for about two and a half minutes. You know it's done when the popping slows down. Oh, good. Yes, you heard it right. Have a snack during break. It helps you to boost your energy. Tip number two. Take a cat nap. As it increases, focus during study. So why not? Even Albert Einstein took micro naps and look what he became. A world famous scientist. Tip number three. Move a little bit from your study desk. Or doing some stretching. 
as these help us in getting our heart rate pumping and improves our blood flow. And finally, help you in improving your concentration. Now, for some news related to technology. Now the I in iPhone will stand for India. iPhone manufacturer Apple has started to reduce its dependence on China and has started to move their factories to Chennai in India. Starting with iPhone 11 which will be exported to the world from India. This will help in employing local talent and improve the economy of the region, which means more money in hand of parents, means more power to buy food, clothing, toys and gifts. Now I will tell you how not to get scammed in Roblox Adopt Me. Just last night I got scammed in Roblox Adopt Me when someone took away my legendary flyable rideable unicorn. How, you ask? So, while playing the game, someone sent me a trade request to do an extreme fair video. When the user mentioned, I am doing this video for TikTok to explain to his followers how to do an extreme fair trade. The user told me to add any legendary flyable rideable pet and he said he will fail the trade. But he gave me a different item than the one he put in the trail. And sadly, my favorite and the best pet in Adopt Me Unicorn was gone. I was really sad and I felt cheated. But then I learned from my mistakes. And this is what I found. <laughs> But she goes one step further and even does book reviews. Many of her friends and relatives seek her opinion for their children. On a special request, she has agreed to visit our studio and do a book review on two to three books. We at News for Kids are very glad to invite her to our studio. We welcome Shania De Silva. Which books are you going to review today for our viewers? Thank you so much Priya. I must admit, I love watching your show and I'm so excited to be here today. I will be reviewing three of my favorite book series. Wimpy Kid. Wimpy Kid is a best-selling novel series written by Jeff Kenny. The book follows the life of Greg Heffley and the daily adventures in his life. Greg writes in his journal about the troubles of middle school life. His best friend, Rowley Jefferson, and annoying brothers, Manny and Roderick. Manny, the spoiled brat, and Roderick, the bully. 
Their stories make this series an interesting read. The books are written in a journal format and capture the essence of the character. They are really interesting and captivate you to the very end. My next recommendation, Percy Jackson and the Olympians. Percy Jackson is a fantasy adventure novel series written by Rick Riordan. The books are centered around the protagonist, Perseus Jackson, who finds out that he's a demigod, the son of Poseidon. He enrolls into Camp Half-Blood with his best friend Grover, a satyr, that is, a half-coat half-man. Throughout the series, he departs on numerous adventures and quests encountering magical beasts, challenges and much more. The book transports you into a fantasy world that you really have to push yourself to bring you out into reality. Percy's narration of the series is so real, really brings to life the character. It's a very crafted story and this is exciting to the very end. Coming up next, Dork Diaries. The series of Dork Diaries is written and illustrated by Rachel Renee Russell. The book follows the life of a young artistic middle school girl called Nikki Maxwell as she writes in her diary about her best friends, her rival, and her, and her middle school misadventures. The book is comical, funny, and hilarious. I guarantee you, you will laugh till your stomach aches. Each book is a fun novel that captivates the reader. It's written in a diary format and is easy and fun to read. If you are new to reading novels, I definitely recommend you begin with Dog Diaries or Wimpy Kid. Slowly graduate to Percy Jackson. It's an overall great series that I recommend. Thank you. Moving on to our fun facts. If one has to climb a mountain, they need rope, mountain gears, special mountain shoes, etc. Right? Well, you're wrong. Today we will show you one person who doesn't climb a mountain but, but walks up the mountain. Yes, you heard it right. And guess what? He doesn't even need any equipment to climb. Watch this clip where you can see this person easily walking up the mountain with his bare feet and zero equipment. Watch this and enjoy. Comment down below what are the new fun facts that you learned after watching this video.